a section of church leaders in the Evangelical Alliance of Kenya walked out of their meeting with the Attorney General, Professor Gidumigai, today. But the meeting scheduled to discuss the proposed regulations for religious organizations went on even after the walkout. Katie and Zulkisa Nyabwa is at the venue of the meeting and now joins us by way of phone. Zulkisa, uh, if you can hear me, can you confirm to us that uh, the section of leaders walked out on, on this meeting? And if so, do you know why? Good afternoon, Ian. Now, what happened was uh, the religious leaders were scheduled to meet the Attorney General this morning to talk about the proposed regulation of charges, and that a number of them, quite a number, a section of leaders from a cross section of charges turned up. However, a group of leaders led by the head of uh, the Association of Evangelical Churches in Kenya, this is Mark Karaoke, they did walk out of the meeting. They said that they did not feel that the issues that they had raised, their concerns had been adequately addressed and that they wanted to deliberate further. They left the meeting, they retreated to Fungamano Hall where they will be discussing the course of action they would like taken. However, even after they left, the meeting continued with leaders from other churches who spoke to the Attorney General. This is what happened, Ian. And, and do we know, uh, with the meeting that went on, do we know what came out of uh, the meeting? Well, the leaders, uh, after a closed-door meeting, they came out and they said, together with the Attorney General, they had resolved that they would sit down to find a way, a proper uh, framework for temples and churches and mosques Currently, they are under the Societies Act, which uh, leaders, together with the Attorney General, seem to feel uh, that the Societies Act did not quite address the unique needs of religious organizations. And this is a topic that is still continuing. They are still continuing to deliberate about it. However, um, basically just deciding that uh, the government should not... Uh, try to um, limit freedom of worship and the Attorney General is very clear saying that this is not what the government is trying to do. However, it is important to ensure that the rights of everyone are upheld and that nobody's rights are trampled upon and therefore uh, the leaders are going to deliberate further over just how to ensure that uh, churches or do not uh, exploit the rights of any single individual. This, of course, you know, came out. This is a particular action that was taken after an expose by KTN over Victor Kanyari, uh, a preacher, a local city uh, leader who is supposed to have acquired money under religious uh, pretenses in a church that he led, and therefore leading to this particular course of action, Ian. Of course, more details on that story will be coming in our subsequent bulletins. Now, elsewhere, the church leaders who stormed out of the K, uh, KICC meeting with the Attorney General have just spoken to the press I'll explaining why they walked out. The talks here as part of what they said. We wish to inform the government that there is no crisis in the country today that warrants putting the nation in a panic. What happened at Salvation and Healing Ministries is a single case that does, that, that does not warrant generalization to all religious institutions. If a single person has broken the law, let them be accorded all their rights as they are dealt with according to the law. We further note that all religious institutions are currently registered under the Societies Act. And if any of them has, has breached the tenets of that registration, the due process should be followed. It is very unfair and illogical of the government to attempt to control and muzzle all religious institutions by introducing new regulations that are not in line with the law.